What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new video. Um, these are going to be the three uh, parts that we need. If you watched the last video, the car was uh, had a, a leak. If you watched that the dyno video, that was an oil leak. Turns out it wasn't. It was a coolant leak. So the coolant hose that goes to the turbo is leaking again. I've had that hose replaced. That cheap, you know, China knockoff hose on it before. It's kind of exploded. And this was a while ago. If you look back in the videos, and they made me a new one, but it seems it's leaking again. So, bought the parts right here to make a new coolant hose for the shop. The car is actually completely done. Everything's been fixed. The car has been raised. If you watched the, my first drive video, yes, I was sick as a dog. I apologize. I had the flu. It was really bad. Um, but uh, the car was rubbing, as you heard in the video, like every three seconds. It was just rub, rub, rub. So, I had the car raised. We had to raise it, guys. It's just too low. I'm not going to deal with all that rubbing. Could you remove the fender liner? Possibly. But you, know, you want to try everything you can before you start removing fender liners uh, so the car was raised all the other carbon fiber parts were put on already and the seats were changed out so we're going to check that out today in this video uh hopefully pay the final bill but we can't pick up the car today because they have to build this hose and then swap the coolant hoses out but we can at least check out the car and see the final final production of the car before it goes to uh, the paint shop I'm excited so let me show you these what these three parts are again i just told you what it was is parts to build a coolant hose let's go ahead and open them up and so you guys can check them out Okay, this is for a negative six and line. These are the parts you need to actually make a coolant hose or an oil hose, water hose, you know, the hoses that connect to the top and the bottom of the turbo. Here's a 14 mil to a six, negative six and fitting that actually screws into the turbo. Got this from turbokits.com. Only uh, uh, 20 bucks to get shipped uh, two days. Here's the actual hose. You see, you always want to get a steel braided hose because the heat obviously is attached to the turbo with the rubber line insert. Make sure you, get, you can buy these hoses without being still braided I would suggest you get still braided obviously this is connecting to the table it's gonna get hot this is a uh, three foot and they sent me two actually which is pretty cool so I'll probably buy another another hose I have another one of these coming in so I can make another hose just in case there's a backup but here's your 90 degree bend hose your male to male adapter you, you see it's an fitting to your amp fitting that goes in here that screws uh, into your uh, coolant or oil source um, all the stuff together this was 20 bucks this was I think it was uh, 10 bucks and then they got, I got two of these for I think ten dollars so uh, way to build a, the hoses that you need uh, most kits have to go cheap somewhere as far as turbo kits even supercharger kits they gotta go cheap somewhere so most of the time they go cheap with the amp fittings and the lines just let you guys know so don't be surprised if uh, you guys do buy uh, put together a turbo kit which I suggest buying unless you you know you have knowledge of how to build a turbo kit from scratch um, and they'll go cheap on these lines so you end up having to make new lines anyways but not that expensive so we're going to drop this off at the shop so that they have the hose they can put, they put the hose together pop the hoses out uh, on uh, Tuesday and the car will be ready to rock and roll uh, there no more leaks smells or anything then we'll buy another one of these hoses and I have two of these I have actually two of these another one coming in and we'll build another hose that we have a hose as a backup just in case if, if for ever a strange reason it starts to leak again or the other hose <clears throat> starts to leak I have another hose already made so let's head to the shop let's check out the Civic the full production I'm excited to see what it looks like a little bit raised especially with the seats in it's going to be crazy finally uh, seats in uh, sitting in and you also have to um go to Ace Hardware or Home Depot and buy some longer uh, thread bolts for the strut bar because we changed to the baseline coilovers the strut bar doesn't fit uh, actually it does fit I should say it's not long enough to reach the strut tower so we need to go take a bolt out go up to Ace Hardware get a new bolt so we can uh, get the strut bar back on well let's head up to the shop check out the Honda drop these parts off alright as we head up there we're going to Rose T-shirt <clears throat> Today we're going to be wearing the uh, a Super Saiyan Rose t-shirt as they like to say in the American version Super Saiyan Rose It's pretty bad But yeah, let's uh, head to the shop Check out this Honda And uh, drop off these parts man. I'm excited to see it sitting in the NRG seats And everything else Let's head up there What's the real sights? Fast forward Looks like they got another Miata They do so many damn Miatas It's ridiculous So we're going to go to the park Go inside, see what cars they got. Drop this out, check out the Honda, all that good stuff. Let's go inside, bring these parts in. Yeah, they do a lot. Important or not. 
but hit the car overall. Again, I don't know if I cut the last segment, that would suck. <laughs> I like good information, this is a new tow hook. I'm getting a longer bolt for the tower because the strut bar doesn't fit because it's too short. So again, here's the interior with the red seats. goes to the end of the seats. We're going to sit inside these seats when we come back. Um, we're going to go to Ace and get a longer bolt. There's the carbon A pillars, they're all in. Freaking awesome. It's freaking awesome. Alright. So there's the car guys. Together. I showed the engine bay. We'll come back and put the stud back. Uh, once we get longer bolts, we're going to go to Ace. And the car was raised. Because again, it was scraping. Everywhere I went, I was scraping hardcore. So, we did raise it a uh, quarter of an inch. And we'll see how it does. Oh! Sit inside, you see that lawyer. Oh, this feels crazy. I mean, these seats pushed way back, but yeah, I'm actually moving around. Got some, I'm going to record that. Got some nice room between here. Yeah, that's what it looks like from the driver's perspective. Awesome, and the carbon A pillars. This is great. All right, let's go get this nut and stud. I'll be back uh, again. If you didn't catch in the last video, the acuity uh, uh, shifter bushings are installed. They just couldn't use the acuities though. A third piece had these uh, different bolts, but the bushings are in, so the shifter feel is gonna feel awesome. But yeah, these seats are in. Yeah, it's not that bad. Not that bad. Way better than I thought it was gonna feel. That's for sure. All right, so we got the type bar thing going on. We just gotta swap out these back seats. So let's head to Ace, get these bolts, and we'll be back. Hell yeah, oh yeah. And just so you can see it, see the new piece? Covers up the whole thing so it's not coming to the edge. So now the whole piece is carbon. I'll probably sell that with the overlay right here. Let's see. All right, so let's head to Ace Hardware. Awesome. I like how they kept the seats protected. You guys remember, here's that FRS that we were tuning that uh, we saw in previous videos back on the Y. Pretty nice FRS, I like the break up but Easy to be boosted though. Alright, so let's head to Ace Harbors, 14mm bolts. Auto yeah. side, hell yeah. So we're going to Ace Hardware right here. Get this nut, 14mm nut that will fit the strut. We're at Louisville. So let's get our first time in Ace Hardware. Wow, look at all this. So we're looking for a 14 mil nut. So I'm guessing we just have to look at. Huh. Let's figure this out. Oh, here we go. But yeah, something like that. Perfect. Here's one tradition to me. There's a couple around here. And most of them just got the whole body kit, but they didn't get the rims on it. That's what it seems to be his. Pretty cool to see it. You don't see it that often. But there's one down there, of course. Around the shop, you see all these nice mixed up cars. Uh, Ace Harbor was a complete strikeout. So I hit the Home Depot to see if they got their hover boat size. Okay, well, a turn Z. Well, let's go see if they got this bolt at the proper size. I'm sure they do. I should have came here to begin with. Let's go. Of course, home. That's the size that actually fits the strut tower. Uh, I went ahead and got 50 mil because it's threaded all the way to the base. Anything longer than this, it was actually a bolt then threaded. I'm looking at it's going to the top of the top of the uh, the uh, coilover, so it needs to thread all the way up into the coilover. Because otherwise, I have to use some type of glue to hold it, which we're not going to do. So it's as long as I could possibly get. I don't know if this idea is going to work to replace those 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 three nuts at the top so we can get the stuff on. I'll have to take it out and find out, but we'll see. Keep the receipt and everything. Cost me 10 bucks for bolts. <laughs> $10 for bolts. All to try to get the strut tower on. More and more money. Jesus. Alright, so we're going to head back to the shop. Drop these bolts off and stuff. Say goodbye to the car for now. 
and uh, actually filming two videos right now. So continue on with the other video. Well, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this content. Again, I was checking out what the car looks like now, all complete. Getting some information as well as getting these bolts that we need uh, so we can try to get the strut bar uh, on. And dropping off the, the parts to make the cooling hose that we need. The last piece that we need, they'll make the cooling hose when Steve comes back. And uh, we'll get that uh, taken care of. And the Honda will be back. So next week, the Honda will definitely be back. And then maybe like wait a week or so and then into the paint shop it goes. And I'll finally be back into the fold. Bye, right, guys. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. Again, this is an update. Show you guys what's going on with the Honda. How it looks now that it's fully completed. It looks pretty freaking awesome. It needs to be washed again. <laughs> but we'll get the line, the line created. Hopefully we can get these bolts in the strut tower and get the strut ball on. We'll be good to go. Just like any YouTuber, any gas. Jeez. Click like and subscribe. Any questions, post below. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Okay, so like, there's a coil over. You see how we were gonna replace these nuts because they were too short, and that's why they're stuck. Again, see how it's in there and it's not moving? That's because it's this type of bolt. Look at that ring right here. That's what locks it in there. I bought regular bolts. So even if they knock them out, and put those bolts in there and put a nut on the side, eventually it would come loose and start wobbling and stuff like that. So that's the concern. So it might be better off to not do it, get a different, completely different style of strut bar that's thinner, or shave the mounts of the strut bar itself, like in half, so then you have a little bit of this, more of this showing, so it can fit on top and you can put the nut on top. So I think the best idea is probably just to shave it, throw it on there, I mean, if it comes off, what to do, oh well. I mean, it's kinda, it's gonna be held on by six points, so I think it'll be fine, but then again, you know, there's vibration in the motor, is the car is boosted and everything else, so we'll see if they want to shave it down. If not, I'll just buy. I have to get a completely different style of strut bar that's a lot thinner at the basis. Because again, it's this style of nut. Right there. It's a little locking thread you see. Right nah. It's a little locking thread that you see right here. That thread right there, that's just locked into right here. And mine are just nuts. See? So I don't have that little locking mechanism, so I have to put a nut on this side and over tighten it. So we'll see. Probably just gonna shave it. Huh? That whistle is insane. Car. That's a nice twin turbo Mustang right there. And then we got a super that y'all see in the last couple of videos. It's still here. Look at oh, this wire. Look up, at this. Picking up Monday. Getting Look at this wire. Oh my god. That's a nightmare. Nah, no, that's all uh, OEM wiring. I know, but still. Uh, and you know what's gonna? You know what happens when you change out your wiring too? He'll be back. Nope. Uh, so electrical gremlins and shit. But you could just buy the harness from the company and save thousands. He did. This, this is the, we're using the OEM wiring harness to fix the one that evolved from the company. Jesus. That's why we have the OEM. Look at this, how often do you see two Supra side by side like that? Oh, we're not at the car meet. <laughs> and they're both. Every day. <laughs> they're both. <laughs> Every day I see and they're, and they're both here for work. <laughs> and that boy with the stealth. Pick it up Monday. Maybe we'll go for a ride now. Well, that's a nice twin temple Mustang right there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a whole kit. Um, they, they get to see the FRS. Well, it's new. We probably can't get to it because of the duck car. It's a, the duck car acts as a... You know what I'm that, you know what? I am shocked. I'm sorry, I gotta say, I love that company, by the way. I am shocked, bro, because I looked at that and he popped the hood. It's fucking clean, dude. I like that. I need, I need to cover this up. This is, and then, this, is, this is advertising. I don't have time to free. <laughs> it's too late, man. You know what? Actually, you know what? What the fuck is this? That's that bongo. He be in that bong right there. What is that? Is it duck car? You in here earlier? Uh -huh. Here. That's the thing that's whistling. I know. I know what it. I'm just saying. Stop. Let me stop. Why would you do that? What the fuck does that do? <laughs> Why would you do that? It sounds like it's not the dog. That's what that whistle was earlier. That's pretty funny. Did you know that? What, the duck did, did you know that? I didn't know that, no. I, I was gonna say, you didn't know that. Did you know that? I, I used to have a, a towel 
uh, QR valve uh -huh. and uh, decided to uh, make that. Experiment at the end, it's just a uh, zip tight end. Oh, okay, so you just, it's an experiment. This is not permanent. It's, it's fun to drive it. It's actually more fun to drive it. Not even boosting, it's just like, dude. Here in the dust hole. To, to, to crack some people. <laughs> that shit's pretty funny. I, I, I it's rate funny. that. And it's not my original idea, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I saw it on, on uh, is this, I don't know how I saw it on YouTube. It was like, so is yeah, this yeah, like map performances type of kit? Is that, is that yeah, what Yeah, that's it's the, whole com uh, the whole complete kit? Yeah, the whole here, complete here, do kit. It. So my girlfriend's gonna love this shit. It's uh, oh, yeah, I, I love that. that. One of mine. I'll do it in a second. Um, the, tur the turbo itself is a um, Precision 50. Uh, 55, 58? 58, 58. I forget which one it is. So what are you going to cut? But it's not the 58, 58. This is the one that was smaller. I think it's the turbine. I always like maps. maps You're just going to cut right at the downpipe? Uh, the actually, what, uh, what I actually have... That's a duck call, by the way. Then. This, this actually, it's not a plastic, you know, it's a duck call. So clean, bro. That's a lot. Yeah. We're going to go... Like it, yeah. Right into a... Uh, so we're talking about cutting, there's a damn pipe right there. He wants to cut off, make a dump. It's gonna dump right here. But I didn't want to take a chance of buying like a shitty one as more to have more money. That's like we talked about earlier. I got money. So I just bought all the piece separately and have to weld it. So this is, I assume, I'm just assuming, I don't know. Is this a built bottom end? Yeah. Yeah, it had to be. Uh, running 10 and a half to one distance with um, mainly I-beam rods. I think the, pit, the pistons, I think, are JE pistons. Can I ask a question about the motor? How much did it cost? Uh, I can't say. Does that mm -hmm. piece it together? Um, what? Did you buy it whole or did you piece no, it together? No, I see the, see the see builder for me. Yeah, I can't say building. because honestly, I don't remember what the actual amount was. But also... I'm just curious how much yeah. the build bottom end for uh, these things cost. Um, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Um, I'm going to say, depending on your options, five grand. That's about average. Yeah. Like, cool. and it depends on how much labor is involved, you know, how much you can mm -hmm. take it out, how much of the... But you didn't buy, I'm saying, but you didn't go buy, like, you know, Crawford. Cause I see Crawford advertising right there. They have a built by the minute they sell for this. Pull that shit off too. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I, well, I don't know, because I did buy that on a group buy. So maybe I'll leave a sticker on because it wasn't. Now a badass kit for this car, bro. I've seen it. I uh, think we tried the kit is nasty, it's, bro. It's, it's expensive. And then the Crawford, it's, it's built to bottom in, you know, for the low, low price of 10 grand, you two could join the family. You're like, damn, dude. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucking they're, money, they're dude. Expensive. Um, IG, I've seen, I seen that they sell blocks too. Uh, so yeah. the, um, but I, I didn't know that company. I've been coming to see for a long I guess time. it also depends on where you live, though. Yeah. Uh, like, we live in Texas. Yeah, we got yeah, performance yeah, shops yeah, exactly. everywhere. Yeah, if you, you live like in North shop, Dakota, ain't no shops. That's I have to buy the um, in that's like, put together. To be I like the fact that, that I can come here and get a, a dial tune. Yeah, and definitely we don't have that option. Yeah, so we're just stuck with like some shitty, some shitty dial uh, tunes. Uh, so, so we're gonna go three inch here. He didn't mean that. He over the shelf tunes are okay. It's not full. I don't like the way that some sound. This is the first. It's your waist that I, I came so close okay. to getting the HKS bow because I like the way they sound because they're loud. But then I heard the Gretty one, and I like the Gretty one sounds sounds good as well. So that's what I got on the Honda. I don't think I heard the Gretty one. See the, the overpipe right here is already three inch. Mm -hmm. So from here to here is already three inch, and then the, so you got to reduce it. Reduce it down there too. No, 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 he wants to go bigger. No, let's say it's a no, reducer it's right now. It has to nah, be. No, it's just two and a half, straight into the three inch, straight up in the two the and the two and a half. Do not have a leak right there. there. I'm sure it's leaking. I, I, about, okay, there we go. I'm about to say that's got to be a leak right there. I put a little bit of silicone, but I'm sure it's you, got, you need the reducer to reduce yeah. it down. If you just so, bolted so, the so shit that's, together, that's actually, so hopefully that's in a, a leak. week or so. Um, yeah, next week we'll, we'll get we'll get the exhaust uh, side here. But I'm, I'm gonna replace all the flanges too with the V mount. V okay. Yeah, V-band. Okay. So, so then I'm going to do the adapter here. That way, if I want to take the downpipe, it's just the one V-band. The three inch here, three inch all the way. Honestly, it might even nice be all the way up to uh, the axle back. That way, if I change my mind on the axle back, I can just buy three inch. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Matt, performance. That's a, this is a nice looking kit, bro. It, actually, that's actually why I bought it. Is the, uh, that looks a nice this, looking kit. It, like it looks like the gritty one, but it's a nice looking kit. The the, the, the reason I bought this kit was they're, they're the only ones that move the turbo this way. Everybody moves it that way. I think it's on this side, right? Most yeah. kits are on this side, right? Yeah. Most, 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 yeah. Or they're, they're either in the middle with the grating, or they're on the side. So the pipe. So I like the fact that the pipe is kind of straight. I like that the servos over this way. Mm -hmm. um, it actually came with this uh, this pipe here. We had to add a two-inch extension to make sure we have uh, the right amount of uh, coolant. Mm -hmm. So I mean, another thing about this is like you may want to extend it, but like they they probably don't sell this kit anymore. 
No, they still. I mean, it's <laughs> there, but you have to ask them. Yeah, yeah. like they don't. They don't. They don't they're not a hot seller, so they're. Yeah. It's made to order. Like it took like. There you go. Made the order. Yeah. yeah like made the order. Yeah. Make it. And even then, I had to. I had to cut some of the lengths because like this pipe was like way the hell over here, and it was like rubbing over there, and I think it's like bumping on the. Damn! Don't tell me that, man. I mean, it's not perfect. I mean, it's like there's one. There's essentially now they're one offs, mm -hmm. so they're you know they, they have jigs and everything, but if the jig moves a little bit. You know, because like I say, if you're making these pipes all day long, you're going to keep them tight. If you don't do this pipe again for like a year, then it's going to be a little yeah. bit different. Yeah, you know, and there's a different guy that does it, so he might not put in the jig tight or whatever, or when they make their bends. If know. it's a Monday or a Friday, you know, yeah. it all depends but, on what the for, week for it is. But being a one-off, it, it wasn't saying. that bad. It wasn't, it wasn't that bad for being a one-off. Basically what he's saying is when you modify a car, you always have to adjust shit. Nothing uh, honestly, comes yeah, perfect. even when they say Nothing comes perfect. is not going to be like a straight, because like even this, this is actually cool because they actually gave you this, and they actually already cut this out. They should have cut this off, in my opinion, but it actually still rubs a little bit right here. I see it. And that's why I had to get this uh, this um, little bit of offset. So, I mean, like, it's, it's, you're always going to have to modify a little bit because they're, with the car that they build might have been a little bit tweaked, you know, because when, 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 I imagine when shoppers get new, they get the first car they get. They might be new, they might not be new stuff might have been you know wrecked and adjusted so yeah when they when they make a jig for it it was built on that car that's why you're never number one no always you don't want to be first to market yeah. when new car like this new super that everybody was you, buying you, wait for you don't want to be the be first place. one you want to wait till other people that buy the shit have issues with the shit they fix it and you come behind them yeah, <laughs> with the recall, version two so that, you get the version yeah, two because like, like i got lucky uh i don't, I don't have that last recall nice. get all the but I mean, honestly, even though I had the recall, I would have just got a uh, better spring anyway. Mm -hmm. Which is what I'm gonna do anyway. So when, uh, I'm probably so on the um, head work, I'm probably gonna do uh, gonna do part, important polish on the head. Mm -hmm. I'll probably do bigger valves. It's nice. I like that. I like the link of both. Um, that's cool. That's all that's, that's, that's 2017. I'm doing bigger. I don't valve. think they. Is there a company that? I don't think there's a company that actually makes a aftermarket, but I know they make one for the bottom, I don't, but not the top one. I don't think. Yeah, they, they they have spacers, but I don't I don't think I don't think they make them. To, um, I don't and think nobody they, makes one yeah. of the performance one. I don't for think that. too many companies. Like it's just they're red on stock. Yeah. Hey, they're, they're some and really. Steve, no, but I think this is cool. I like the the Winko red that, that, look. Uh, this this plenum design is actually. He said that the plenum should have been bigger and the runner should have been smaller. That would have been better for a mm -hmm. boost, but. I got it because it was metal, so I can actually strip it and powder coat it later, mm -hmm. maybe polish it. I'm probably gonna polish it. Just I like it. It looks good, man. Just, it I flows just, with all this I, stuff. I, just, I recently good. added the, uh, the the fuel rails. I had, good, a, I had to redo my um, my flex fuel kit over there. Mm -hmm. Is it flex fuel right here? Because mm -hmm. uh, I had I had, to, I had to swap this line. I had to swap out the uh, the fitting so that I can actually screw in here. Mm -hmm. So and I'm gonna probably run a I'm gonna run a. a a new line to the core for us, man. And then right to the right middle, into and, and then it's been both ways, and then probably run a return. Um, probably from each side. Like, it's a cool with, FRS, with the, man. I got you. With the, with the U fitting? Yeah, yeah. Because I don't want to. It's, it's easy to run to the back because it's straight. You can actually run a, you know, you can run a, a T or a Y. I'm probably going to run a Y because maybe the fuel will spill a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Run a Y. It's easier than trying to run it through here, and that way there's a fuel leak I can actually easily get, get to it. it. Yeah, I think yeah. I would run a Y from here. Yeah. It, it, to me, even though I, I don't like it, it's just a return. I'm just going to go ahead and just do the. Yeah. They actually. Um, see, I see I covered the, <laughs> covered the radio. <laughs> the. Uh, uh, I see, yeah. yeah uh, they actually sell oh, a. Uh, he said no no advertisement he no. just not sponsored people his sponsors his wallet so just so you guys know cover that, that. One they cover that though yeah. cover that bullshit yeah, that right group and, and that from Moto East was a group buy so I'll give them I love them group buy love them group buy yeah, they money they're trying to get out the market so actually you know what they actually did help me out with this so I'll go ahead and leave it on for now but actually I'm gonna <laughs> I am gonna grind these off and take it off it's the same thing with these well. yeah disrespect right there you're gonna grind that shit off it's just, I want it to be clean I want it to be smooth this looks nice yeah I'm gonna take that shit off Looks nice. It, it does it, look it wasn't nice. That great of a deal. No, that that's it. <laughs> I got yeah. All right. Hey, we're, we're gonna end it right here. <laughs> we're gonna end it right here. This is a nice FRS. I did ask them to make me a three-inch downpipe because I know they've done it before and they didn't want to make it. But yeah. but what it did do is I tell them like I already have. A, I actually I already have two blow valves. Like, can you sell me the kit without the blow valve and don't weld the flange because I'm gonna run uh, the cutout valve and they're like sure. So so they helped you. Yeah, they helped me a little bit.
for it. I mean, I mean, it, you did pay him money, so yeah. So I mean, I it, it, how can you say no? I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to buy your kid. Blow guy was like 300 bucks. I'm like, I don't need a blow valve. Jesus, that gonna be sitting there. So yeah. say the, actually, funny because the money offset from the blow valve actually offset a little bit for the turbo upgrade. Hmm. But then I, I bought the 50. 558 whatever it is journal bearing first and i swear it felt journal bearing it, it felt Ooh. it was journal bearing and it actually felt like it's it, it spool like a thousand rpm slower yes you so, get faster spool a ball bearing you know that yeah it, it was like it was like 4500 before you actually felt the boost oh oh man i was hoping i was praying to the heavens that was a dodge caliper but it wasn't i was hoping that was that caliper coming back i was about to say oh that dial, I, I, you weren't here. You have to watch my videos, but you weren't here with that Dodge Cowboy. That thing was a nightmare, dude. Right. He was trying to get rid of that thing for like a minute. Just one thing after that just kept breaking. It was hilarious. This is a nice car, though. Bro. I like this, dude. So, I, I think the turbo kit made, made a big difference on the aesthetics of the engine bay. Like, did I? Yes, yes, yes. So, so I will give a shout out that to me, like, Matt was, in my opinion, is a better Matt, pain, man. Get this thing looking nice. Get the head. Dude, V Land makes so many badass headlights for this car. It's like. I, like I, don't know what I don't know what the hell happened. I, I think it's the uh, clear coat. And that one's really fucked up over there. No, but I'm saying uh, I got a guy that can fix that. But I'm saying, like, you should get some V-Line headlights. Well, we'll see, right wrap now. all this, man. Get oh, all that's, solid, that's, bro. that's all in the eventually to do this. It's eventually to do you're, this. You're in the motor right now. Yeah, I got you inside yeah, right. here. You're like exactly. me. You're like all up in the motor trying to get it done. Because when I upgraded, because I had a different turbo kit. When I upgraded turbo kits, either I can spend the money, upgrade the turbo kit, or I can get the car painted. Oh, wrap it. Just wrap is, it, it. Is, is it what, do I rather to look nicer or drive funner? You know, I'd rather do both. So I, I, I'm in the motor right now. You're in the yeah, motor right now. So just step. work on the motor, get the motor done. The, the, get plan is, happy. Uh, the plan is I'm gonna um, when we do the head work, I'm gonna pull the engine out. That way, it's one pull, get the car painted because because uh, the battery acid ate all the paint right here. Uh, and that was that was Toyota's fault. They they overclamped this, so it leaked. It, so I'm gonna get the engine bay painted. I'm actually gonna get the whole car painted, but take the motor out, take everything out, clean it. You know, and the whole car's gonna get painted from the engine bay back. And then when the motors, uh, when the heads are done, put it all together, and it's gonna be done. Because um, when it was when it was wrecked, um, this course of, this uh, course support right here is just sitting on there. It's not even tack welds. Not it's not bolted on or anything. Uh, so, support right there. so I think that's why this this uh, little tag is there. So I'm gonna take it to a good shop that's actually gonna line it up because there's no frame damage. I know that for a fact um, because all the stuff it was just here, like from here, the support here back, it wasn't it, it wasn't damaged. Mm. So there's no frame damage. They might have to like pull some of the uh, the, the, the bracing here a little bit, but it, you know from the frame back is it's pretty much good. So, but I, I want to actually now. measure it because. If I ever replace the fender with a brand new one, I don't want it to be, to be around. Off, yeah. I want it to go back on there. That's why I bought new fenders because they were they were just a little bit bent here, but and and the hood, no, the hood was gone. But I didn't want to be dicking around with um, if they said the little carbon pieces right here, like right here. I, I still have the, the black one right here. I just didn't put it back on. Hey guys, how's it going? Carlos, what what up, up, what up, what up? Super nice, man. VR4, right? That's the uh, uh, yeah, that's VR4. That is so cool, bro. Now, yeah, see, I've seen one in person. Oh, this one's built. Awesome, the built as you're gonna get. <laughs> the oh, built as yeah, you're gonna yeah, get on this one. Awesome. So this is the first one you've seen. It's definitely nice to see one that's uh, this fucking is the built. The first one I've ever seen. I've always heard about it. The first one I've ever seen in my life. Twin turbo and nitrous. Yeah, you gotta be that. of that era and want that, you know, do that. Nice. Yeah, he's I bet you 90% of these parts you can't buy now, man. You gotta be custom yeah, and all this shit. Market, in the, the market, there's only so many market uh, performance shops that still make parts for this. So, And then yeah. there's only one dealership. Uh, I think it's Cherry Cherry Hill Mitsubishi. They're the only ones you, you can still out? buy parts for this. And it's, mm. it's out of state. So it's a very monopoly with these cars. But um, I used to have a twin turbo stealth. And I, I took a picture of it because, man, it, 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 it takes me back. It's nice. I, I definitely like this clamp here. I want to know what I don't, I don't know what I want to know what these are called because you know who's coming out with some clamps kind of similar. Of, uh, town for two weeks. Check out, check out, uh, check out NRG. They actually okay. have clamps um, like that. Dino rental. Uh, they just they came out because I was gonna get some clamps kind of like that. I like and, this too. Uh, I wonder what that's called. I'm waiting for them to like to release it. I think we can do it. I'll let we you know. I got materials. Quad show sponsor with it. I'll let you know. Yeah, because like you know, like a, a oh, T yeah, bolt. Yeah, you guys can do it's one a bolt. You know, it's, it's, yeah, so we have a bolt. So I don't know what these are called, but I was looking at the radiator one. I probably get some for the radiator because like they probably do better. I like the color. Yeah. Oh, trust me, that's what happened to my blown 
I'm going to keep, I'm gonna keep the oh, T-ball clamps only because that's the that's, 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 that's traditional. That's old school. Uh, for like the, so for the, the radiators. They offer any this this clamp actually came loose before and I kept getting... Need some I kept getting Neo Chrome in this engine bay, bro. Like, like just this. To, get you, you man. Clean this up. It looks so good right here. Clean all this up, That's why like I think eventually... Carbon fiber cab look covers. I think eventually I'm going to probably get this polished. I don't think I'm gonna get a chrome. I think I'm just gonna get a polish. But, uh, I like the red. The red looks I, good, I, I, dude. It looks nice, but it's it's also yeah, the stock yeah, color yeah, on the 17. I mean, if you're trying to change yeah. the color, yeah, it's a change. Yeah, I want to be like something like this. Yeah. Yeah. Call me out. Uh, 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 and he used to have a. Uh, that one right there, Josh? Yeah, it used to be mine. Uh, uh, engine down a lot. And that one has a build engine, too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's I heard. Yeah. I got 350. Yeah. But the. But the. about to build me a motor for it, whatever. I asked him if he'd sell the motor at the moment. Hey, do you want to? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Dress <laughs> Not yet. I'm waiting. I was waiting to get my Honda done, dude. I got like fucking thousands of dollars in this Honda wait, waiting for it to come back. Whoa, boy, it dust was built. Yeah, it's kind of dusty. I used to have a, um, I think it was by a company called Kinetics. It was, yep. it was Kinetics, kind of, I got oh, that. You, you that. Yeah. I got a 350. And, you, and uh, oh, so you got the Kinetics one? I have a 350 and a 370. I got two. So, so you seen this one I'm talking about, right? I, got, I have that Kinetics on my yeah. car. Yeah. So, so that one was nice. And it was always like, every time I went to places, people were like, I was curious about it. And, and of course, it was shiny. It was chrome. So it was definitely yeah. was very eye-catching. Yeah. I ended up, getting, I ended up getting two of them. I had the chrome one. And it just got fucking dirty. I ended up taking that one off. And then got the all power colored black one now. And then I, I remember the as, as you remember on 350Z you know that how many miles on this motor uh, on this motor not many um, and this is the HRE it's the HR motor this is
we'll continue on with the hood tomorrow. Alright, so this is the car that they have. I do have a makeshift, you know. They forgot to add a credit to it, so I have to wait till the uh, owner comes back on Tuesday so he can issue me that credit so we can pay. So we're bouncing out. Gonna continue on with the other video. So this is actually gonna be peace out. See you guys uh, next video. Have any questions, click like and subscribe. Hell yeah, they raised it a fourth of an inch. Still looks awesome. So I had this car back on Tuesday. Finally, finally.